All right, hey guys, so, um, in my Discord server, I'm doing a Madden seasonal thingy, so that being said, I'm gonna try to, like, play as different teams and make my own version of the NFL season. And right now, I'm gonna do the Jaguars and the Texans. I think the Jaguars are gonna win week one. So I'm going to be the Jaguars this game. Let me know down in the comments which team I should be next. Um, I was already the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers won against the Cowboys like 41 to 38. So, yeah. I tried my best to recreate every roster, though, even though I didn't get every single player. Oops. And then I made some funny trades, for example, Julian Edelman on like the Bengals and stuff like that. Just to keep things like interesting. Of course, you saw Deshaun Watson on there. I literally took me like two days to create every single like custom quarterback. Yeah. I play on all pro difficulty. So. This should kind of be, I mean, I wouldn't say hard, but it's more of a challenge. And a huge bubble like right there, damn. And the Texans scooped it up right there. Dang. I don't even know who the Texans have on their team now. They like traded what, Will Fuller away? And then JJ Watt, they only have like Deshaun Watson, who wants out. Ooh, and he almost made that catch on it. Never really take a look at the Jaguars, two shots right here. Yeah, I gave Trevor Lawrence, because I wanted to be kind to the Jaguars, because I felt like, you know, I'd make a little, good little storyline with them to go to the playoffs. So the Jaguars have like a good offense. They're looking at 80 overall. Texans are a 79. The highest overall in here is like the Chiefs that are like at 87 or 88. Oh shoot. Yeah, you can tell I'm not good at nothing really. Yeah, I, I forgot what that guy's name is. Roddy White. Buddy White. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's 2 a.m. when I'm recording this. Uh, my voice is a bit... A bit tired, and they get an easy touchdown right there. What's that guy's name, Hartline? Yeah. Yeah, Brian Hartline. Of course, there's Trevor Lawrence. I couldn't get the long hair on him, so I tried my best. If nothing else. Kind of sucks how EA doesn't think that, of course, anyone could have long hair. They just think certain people could. I'll just keep those, but there's him without any hair, dude. It looks so weird. Yeah, I made him an 82 overall because I believe that Trevor Lawrence could be a good. Uh, guy this season if he stays healthy. Honestly, I feel like the O-line's gonna sell on him though. They're gonna use Gardner and Minshew for like half the season and then Trevor Lawrence for half the season. That's my guess. That, that, that'd be kind of good though. It'd kind of be like what the Browns do with uh, Kareem Hunt and uh, Nick Chubb. They switch him out. They still stay healthy, which is pretty good. Those are the benefits. I don't know if Bill Belichick is thinking of that. Most teams are still ordering out their depth chart. And we get a good pass right here to Lee. Which I did make some, like, players I found without, like, a picture. But I made them, like, overpowered. So, like, Jay Lee. He's, like, a, what, 82 of all? 90? I don't know which one. There's like a guy named Marquise Diggs. I put him as an 82, I think. 
Because I really couldn't find one for that. But yeah, this is Madden 17 if you're wondering. But I mean, you probably already saw me on the screen. I'm playing on the PlayStation 3 right now because I can't play on PS4. Honestly, it would be so much funner if I had a PS4. Of course, I'm broke, so I can't get it. <laughs> yeah, it's second and four here. We're taking our time. I'm gonna throw it off. And it's almost picked off. And what? It got tipped off his foot. And he's on the right. Can Triple Run check him down? Yes, he can. Tipped off his hands and he still caught it. And I think this would actually happen in week one of the It's like the Texans take like an early lead or something. I mean, it depends on like who's being quarterback. Tyler Taylor is a good quarterback. Deshaun Watson. I feel like they both have talent. I mean, Tyler Taylor led the Bills to the playoffs in over a decade, I believe. I was really paying attention. I'm gonna go with the blitz right here. I think they're gonna go for the test tonight. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just use a cover to the blitz. I don't know how plays really work. And it is tipped again. That was close. I mean that kind of looks like Deshaun Watson. If you think about it, I try to put as much detail as I could. Of course, like I said, if you have any players you want me to make, I will make them. The only non-quarterback players I have made were, I believe, Alvin Kamara, Cream Hunt, Nick Chubb, and then there was Juju, Chase Claypool that I made, and I think those are all those that are not quarterbacks that I have made. Ooh, and a big hit. Nice. We're getting the Saxon going now. Of course, I was planning on making Jamar Chase, but supposedly there's like some controversy going on, so I'm not going to make him. But other than that, I feel like I'm pretty set to go. Reception was kind of a bolt. I think the reception was uh, just like, I don't know how to say it.
now we finally got introduced into the Texans defense. Keep on doing these roll outs. And it is almost caught in. Picked off again. Come on, dude. He doesn't throw it that well. But, yeah, I'm trying to I mean, this is the same thing that happened with the Cowboys and fucking Lesbian when I was slowly made a comeback. Got yeah, already two turnovers. That is not a good side. Uh, David Johnson is just held back. He's got negative two yards? Hey. I remember when he's on the Cardinals. And of course, you couldn't see healthy. Honestly, when I heard about the DeAndre Hopkins trade, I thought people were joking. Because I'm a huge Cardinals fan, and getting DeAndre Hopkins on the team actually really helped us out. Of course, I don't think we can go to the playoffs this season, but if we can, that would be more than amazing, you know? But of course, our whole division is filled with Aaron Donald, Russell Wilson, and Trey Lance is maybe here. I thought we intercepted that. And here's it, Nick Bosa or Joey Bosa? I think it's Nick Bosa. He's on the Niners. He most it's pretty dangerous. We have Ha Ha Clinton Dix on the Niners now. Richard Sherman um, might get out of uh, the situation he's in, so the team might sign him if they want to. I think the Cardinals are like at their salary cap now, so they can't sign anyone else. But if they could, then Richard Sherman would just seal the deal for the Cardinals. I was kind of upset because we didn't draft a running back, to be honest. Because that's all we really needed. But then uh, Jaguars took a Clemson running back. I think it was like Trevor Lawrence's teammate or something. We should have like, a lot of chemistry. Yeah, look at that yardage. Not good at all. And we just get stuck in there. Like, Jesus, they're blitzing. They're just pushing us down to the ground. And that was a big hit too. That's about to be under the first quarter. And wide open is Thomas. Oh, I tried to juke him. Oh, come on. Why did they it? Yeah, Jesus Christ. That is not so good. With that. Trevor Lawrence, no, no, no. Uh, come on. Second and 15 again. I didn't know what the super to throw to. Alright, and it's second quarter, okay. Honestly, if we just hold them off and we don't let them get past that field goal range for the Texan side, or the defense side, I think it would be good. Oh, I really was trying to juke him. I thought he didn't chase. He got this. He's got to rush it. 
Rushing in like the Seahawks should have in that Super Bowl. Sorry, Seahawks fans. Really now? Okay, so I guess it wants to go for up on fourth down. Let's see if we get it. I feel like Chris had this three will be my best option here. And let's go. We got it. Yeah, pretty scary. There's someone we can run it this time without being. Ah, uh, we got a fly. That can get on us. I don't think it's on the defense. The game usually. Yeah. I don't know why we get these penalties. It's never the defense in Madden. You never see, like, a defensive penalty in Madden. I've never seen a defensive penalty. Last time I saw one because I, the Madden games I own is. Like nine two thousand three, nine and ten, twelve, fourteen. Nine twenty five and then nine seventeen of course. Last time I saw like a defensive penalty was in nine and ten and nine oh three. Never any other game. They just love to pick on the offense and the defense. And I bumped into my team. Why did I bump into him? But we still get the first time. I don't know why I threw it that way. I freaking knew it. It was our only opportunity too, man. Come on. Bro. I accidentally tapped the button. And now we're 0 and 3. Dude, I'm ruining Trevor Lawrence's career right now. I'm just ruining this career. I feel bad for it. Now David Johnson gets out of the negative yards. Honestly, I don't even think David Johnson was that active last season. I don't watch Texans highlights. What? What? How? They've been just draining out this clock by non-stop runs. Honestly, I wouldn't even be that surprised if they ran it right now and then they got a first down. Oh, play action. Wow. Are they going to make it? Of course they are. Come on, dude. What is wrong with the Jaguars' defense? It's not good at all, man. Come on, man. Don't jump up and down like a baby. We all know your defense is trash. Look at this guy. He just 
He just literally waits there. Oh my god. I wish Madden games were better. And they weren't run by EA Sports. EA Sports was once good, now they're just washed up and done. Now we just gotta prevent them from making a throw ball again. Cause that's the only thing they can do every single time. Other than getting another pick six. Ooh, nice. Wait, that guy's name is Scooda? Let me see. Scooda. Wasn't there a guy named like Scoot on the Niners? I thought there was. His name was like Scoot, he played for the Niners. Back when they had Colin Kaepernick. Honestly, the 49ers literally just take like three seasons off or whatever and then though and then that one season they just immediately go like to a Super Bowl or something okay and then they go back and then they really rock, and they go to the Super Bowl like, damn the NFC West really is just hogging up every single Super Bowl I mean the past 10 Super Bowls have all been like NFC West I'm like, what? The NFC West is only like one in one of them? Yeah, because the Rams lost one, the Niners lost them, the Seahawks lost one, the Cardinals, meanwhile, just really haven't been putting up anything. Their owner probably hasn't even cared for them. play it before the two minute warning timer goes off. We only go for a two point conversion. Can I go for one more or no? Not yet. Okay. 
But we got Chris Ivory. Chris Ivory is gonna is he gonna get it? No. I think we'll hold on to it. I think we're gonna hold on to it. We're just gonna drain out the clock. And we're gonna go for one play. I might just drain it out right here, guys. Just to quickly put it to halftime. And there we go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to. I, I, I feel kind of scared. But you know what? I'm gonna go for a two point conversion. We're gonna go for a two point conversion. Trevor Lawrence could not throw another interception. Okay? We can do this. I'm gonna use this play. I don't think this will work. Okay, Trevor Lawrence even get back up all the way. And he is tipped. No, I freaking knew it. And now we're down to 10 points. Good. He sold. So we're going to have to take this matter into our own hands. Let's get a new it. That's, that's what confuses me. Maybe it's his uh, traits. Because usually players have traits and it says like if he's a high motor or not. If he's a clutch guy that'll win the game more or his stats upgrade or something. Or his, yeah, his overall whatever. And they were just going to go and just like that. Did they just miss the last time out? Okay, they did. Try to return this for a touchdown. I know I won't do it, but I'm gonna just try it. Okay. Give me the strength to return this for a touchdown. Give me the strength, please. Oh wow, they they really just took a cheap shot. That's such a big move. Come on, Texans. Honestly, I feel like the Texans are like the baby, the babies of the NFL. Not only are they the youngest um, team, because they were like counting like what, 2002? But honestly, they, it took them like how long to fire Bill O'Brien? They literally traded one of their best ever receivers. Deshaun Watson just suffered in there. J.J. Watt, they just let him go through me. They just didn't care for him. Aw, oh, come on. And there goes another sack.
I think I got enough time to come back. Let's see. No, I don't. Dude, the O line is not going well too. It's just selling out now. Yeah, I think we lost our opportunity here. This is gonna be a punt after this watch. Unless Eifert can get open. And he tipped it. Wow. Madden, work on your games. Jesus Christ, dude. He just magically tips it right there. Hold on. Yeah, these receivers need to get better. I wish, you know what would be a good idea? Is if Madden included IQ. IQ would be amazing in Madden, okay? Because your team could be like way smarter. They could be way smarter decisions. Okay. For example, there could be less interceptions with IQ. I think it would be good. And can we just hit the back? Let's go. The first turnover. To be honest, the most the um, most exciting team I'm ready to use. Uh, I'm gonna do a top three. It's probably I played with the Saints, and it wasn't how I expected to be honest. Even with Drew Brees on there. So the three teams I'm excited for that I have on this game is probably um, the Colts because I have like a good like quarterback to replace once on there, and then I have of course the Chiefs. I'm not a Chiefs fan, but yeah, you know they're pretty awesome. And then I have the 49ers. I mean the 49ers are pretty awesome. Or I would say the Bengals, because I still, because I put Julian Edelman on the, what do you call it, the Jets. But I have to move him over to the Bengals. I played as the Jets against the Giants. I lost, like, what, 30, I forgot what the score was, I think it was like 37 or 35 or something. And they intercepted back, wow. I knew I should not throw it there, and we just get hit a lot of time. talking about controversy earlier with the Montreals. I don't know, but I also have Doug Baldwin on the Bengals too, so if I just put Julian Edelman in there, I mean, yeah, having Jamar Chase in there will complete the whole trio. But to be honest, the Bengals are already 79 overall, and I feel like they should be below 80 overall. But, yeah, let's see what happens, guys. What? Come on! Uh, looks like Trevor Lawrence isn't going to go 17 and 0 in this either. His regular season is tarnished. I feel bad for Trevor Lawrence to be honest. He's supposedly been undefeated in the regular season. It's a high school or whatever. I feel so bad for him, dude. Like, he has no O line. Like, he really just dissed him out like that. Honestly, that's like if no horrible team can just go get an O line. Like, by the time the Colts got an O line, Andrew Luck was ready to retire. It was that dumb. 
and now they're good, quote unquote. I feel I feel like the Colts are still gonna be trash to be honest. I feel like they're probably also gonna win over up on Christmas or something. I think they're facing off on Christmas. But yeah. I don't I don't I think the Cardinals would probably get into huge grudge match with the Browns though. Browns are good man. They're not trash like they're full. Don't intercept that so I was just trying to throw the ball away. Which I guess worked. Literally six to twenty-three. This is not good at all. And I gave Trevor Lawrence a good wide receiver play. And that's what I'm Come on, Trevor. Oh no, it wasn't Trevor, it was uh, Eifer, whatever that title is. He sold. This isn't gonna go well. Zero out of three. Yeah, you can tell I'm getting my butt beat right now. been recording for 37 minutes. Honestly. Trevor Lawrence just... Oh my lord, a big hit. Honestly, if Trevor Lawrence does another pick, I'll activate Gardner Minshew. Hands down, hands down, I'm activating Gardner Minshew if he throws one more pick. I mean, yeah, I get it. I am controlling the quarterback, but still, I will have to get God in the And I feel like also Gardner Minshew is underrated. That's what most people say. He's underrated. But people say that he's overrated too because he's on the Jaguars. I'm so. Oh crap, I forgot I can't. Yeah, um <laughs> That's his second interception. And we were in the red zone. You know what? You know what? That's it. Where is <laughs> I'm actually gonna do it. How much of an overall is Garden Nation? A 74? Screw it. Screw it. Let's screw it. Let's screw it. <laughs> Dude, five interceptions. Oh my lord, dude. The Jaguars are not looking good this season. Honestly, I'm not trying to be rude or anything to any Jaguar Texan fans, but I'm sorry, guys, but just because you guys have an opportunity, you guys are not going to the playoffs, okay? The Dolphins might if Tua can, you know, become a star. I mean, he's got a lot of receivers. He's got Will Fuller. Devontae Parker. I forgot who else. They drafted. Uh, he got a lot of good players on there. Ooh, I still have Jay Jai on the Dolphins. Actually, the Dolphins are actually one of my favorite teams to use. Never mind. Not the 49ers. Because the Dolphins have Jay Jai. They got a fun defense to play with. And then the Browns too. The Browns I haven't played with yet, but they're pretty fun. The Buccaneers, I thought they would be fun. I mean, I did play with them once against the Cowboys as a non regular season game. And I was kicking like the Cowboys butt like 21 to 7 in like the first quarter. And then it was like 3 a.m. and my electricity turned off. I was like listening to music too, so I couldn't even like hear the whole thing go out. Yeah. I ended up turning on back on like four in the morning. I don't think I'm a guy this is tonight to be honest. Ooh, nice. Honestly, it would be a miracle if we can make a comeback, but I don't think we are. I think we lost this game already. Because Trent Lawrence doesn't know how to throw a pass to his receivers. And I do do so many. I'm not gonna lie, I was 
he's actually going to be kind of messed up and good. Like, Joe Bro a horrible, like, O-line. But then, to be honest, I decided to be nice and give him an okay O-line. Oh! How is he so good in this game? <laughs> he's just so good. I don't know. I probably have to nerf him a lot. I probably have to look up his map a lot. I probably have to develop that one. Honestly, I feel like the new, like, uh, what do you call it? The new, uh, uh jersey number changes are kind of weird. I feel like it was better, like, with the previous numbers, not, like, defense, or, like, number seven or anything. I just feel like the single-digit numbers were always for, like, kickers, punters, and quarterbacks. Never, like, college style, you know? And also, I feel like the NFL soon next season will uh, bring out the number zero jersey. I think college does that too. They do like a number zero jersey. That'd be pretty cool to be honest. Come on. And he spin moved? What? What? Is that David Johnson injured? No, it's the Giant one. I was about to say, they have 300 people. Yeah, um, I saw some NFL slandering with him slandering on TikTok. Could someone clip this and post this on TikTok? And say, damn, the Texans are being different or something. But anyways, I'm done with this. Eh, we'll keep him in. Uh, my controls about to die. Let's see if we can make it through the game without a time. Probably gonna get wrecked. Charge over here. Dang, dude. They're just lying on us. There's no tomorrow. Oh, I picked the wrong play, I think. Eh, whatever. We already lost the game. No worries. Oh, wow. And we're down. We're gonna be down by 20 points. And Gardner Minshew is gonna have to lead us to victory. But the defense sucks in here, so that he's not gonna be able to hold on. Yep, and they just got the first down. How are they so good? I mean, I know Deshaun Watson's good. But he's got five. <laughs> he fast as a throw. I remember when Trevor Lawrence had like, what, five hundred pass in a row? Oh, I almost jumped at that. And then, like, he just sold. Yup. Oh, I thought, I thought they sold already. I think they sold already. Yeah, the Jaguars are not my favorite team to use. They were before, because. I tried doing this in my Discord server back in January for like the 2020 NFL season. And it did go well, yeah, the Dragons are kicking butt until I realized I was playing on play difficulty. Maybe I probably just need more training on all pro difficulty. I mean, I'm not that good on that, but I am good at that at the same time. It just depends what team I'm using. Like, I'm good with some team playbooks. Yeah, they just walked in. Yeah, this is just a shutout right here. We're gonna have Gardner Minshew. We are not gonna make a comeback, okay? I thought we could. I thought we could. <laughs> but, um, but, um, yeah. We just, <laughs> we just messed up. We're badly awesome to gonna turn this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aw, oh, the, <laughs> the kicker tackled him. You know, I, I should have recreated the hurdles, kicks a man from Antonio Brown that one season. But here comes Gardner Minshew, number 15. Right, guys? He's number 15? I don't know. 
And that's a pick six. Watch it be a pick six. Watch it be a pick six. I was right. I was right. No, I wasn't right. Dude, God, you mean she sucks more. <laughs> Dude, I suck so bad. What is this playbook? Oh, yeah. I should definitely... Anyone down in the comments, please give me some tips. I mean, I want to make it as realistic as possible by using... He just locks himself in? I'm sorry, but the last time David Johnson was on the Cardinals, when he tried to do that, he broke some bone in his body or something. He tore something. I don't know. Not trying to slander him. I mean, I am. But seriously, the last time David Johnson tried to do that, he broke something in his body. And then got traded. You cannot tell me that this man in here spent nine yards running it. He's just being fed tonight, dude. It is a 31-point game. Might as well just activate the chew fly or chew uh block time. And wow, we actually did it. There's no way. There's no way. There's. We actually got. We actually got it. We actually got it. We actually got a touchdown. And it was a kick return. <laughs> it wasn't even... It wasn't even Minch or Lawrence that helped. Not even Mike Glennon. <laughs> you know, screw it. I'm gonna use Mike Glennon next to you. Someone remind me if I ever play the Jags next time. <laughs> and Minch, you just... Old. Yeah, I tried to recreate Minshew. I, I think I got his beard down and his mustache. Everything else is pretty mad. Honestly, that fumble on the first part of the game, to be honest, could have, like, if we got it, could have sealed the deal. And us not throwing every single interception would have sealed the deal. But every time we went close to our end zone, it just felt like if it was Malcolm Butler in Super Bowl 48 all over again. Oh no, Super Bowl. No, Super Bowl 49. My bad, my son. But yeah, it just felt like Malcolm Butler just camping there at Super Bowl 49. Just every corner right there in that game. Heck, we were even lucky to get those touchdowns. We can't even, like, do anything, you know? I don't even think they have the clutch boost. Yeah, David Johnson just needs to be nerfed. I mean, I'm not trying to ruin the guy's ratings. I mean, I am. But, like, everyone in this video has to agree with me. David Johnson kind of deserves a load. Because, like, all the injuries in the I mean, yeah, I should keep him at a high overall. But just, he's just as well. And then also, I found Michael Vick in this game. He's in the free agency. Let me know, guys, if I should put him on a team. And maybe boost his overall or something. Heck, I'm talking about... Heck, I was just talking about <laughs> nerfing a guy. And I'm talking about buffing a guy, yeah. I think David Johnson will stay this in low ball. Just for it to be funny and broken. My old favorite team that I used to play with was the Texans because like David Johnson. I guess. So I'll keep them. I'll keep baby. Heck, and he's on a 79 overall team. That's insane. So if the Texans make it to the playoffs, then that will be one of the lowest teams in the game. I believe I said it earlier that the Jets were a 77 overall. The Lions were a 78. And the Chiefs are at 87 or 88. I have to look at it right now. And... Yeah. Pretty much it. There was a big ball game back there. Might as well, if we get the ball back, just score a touchdown if we can. There's no reason to make a comeback at all. If we do an onside kick, they're just going to recover it. 
He's running the wrong direction, buddy. You are lost. But that will be the end of the game right there. If we can, like I said, if we can score another touchdown, it wouldn't affect anything. It would just affect the stats. I'm still going to use Minshew right here, not going to use Mike Lennon or Trevor Lawrence. I just want to see if um, he throws another interception, and if he does, then I guess we'll move on to Mike Lennon. And if he throws one, eh, it's the end of the game anyway, so who cares? I mean, what? Yeah, I'm probably just going to record it on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, it's about to be 3 a.m. <laughs> Damn, it'll be 4 a.m. when I'm done, man. And then she beats her out. He is owing to it. But yeah, guys, I'll go through the stats after the game. I think I have time to record in the world. That's what I always do when I pass. I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably not to throw a bull on a guess in a pass. I should probably just um, limit myself on bullet passes and do more with my surroundings. I'm going to do a real route so that's the trigger on. And just like that. And oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. Yeah, the mesh, uh, I think it's called like the mesh option or whatever, yeah, this is one of my favorite plays. But probably not good to use though. You can see why. Okay, that's like our seventh interception. Right? Seven or eight. Let's see. And seven! Yay! Honestly, you might as well just get the Jets and throw every single pass as an interception. I tried playing with them against the Giants, like I said earlier, and it was just a back and forth game. I forgot what the score was. It was like 37, I think it was like 31 to 35, actually. And the Giants just took over Daniel Jones. And yes, I know there's going to be some of the Giants signing in the comments and Justin I would, I would love to see that. Does everyone in the comments just roast your, like, NFL's favorite team rival. I just want to see, like, in this game, a whole bunch of, like, Jets and, uh, or not Jets, uh, Jaguars and Texans playing, dude. But honestly, guys, what do you think? Do you think the Texans are going to win week one, or do you think uh, Trevor Lawrence will actually prove everyone wrong with the horrible O line? He'll be like the weekend after Super Bowl, just running through a hallway. Oh, and is that on their offense or their defense? Let's see if we get flagged. Yay! We didn't get flagged this time. But like I said, yeah, there is no comeback in this game at all. Like I said, I will really use my flagging for the last part of the game. Just to move around, but other than that, our defense kind of is the main problem. Yeah, uh, in my Madden League, I think the Jags will probably go like 6 and 11 or 7 and 10. I think they'll be tied with the Texans at the bottom, but how the playoffs work is basically I'm going to make the top two in every single seed battle it out in the wild card. So that being said, there will be 16 total teams in the NFL playoffs. I already have like a, a weird bracket set up. For example, the, the first seed will go against the fifth one. The third will go against the seventh. The, the second seed will go against the sixth. And then the fourth will go against the eighth. It's basically to balance it all out. And then like the first or 
fifth, go against the third or seventh, and then yada yada. Just to balance it all out. Just so, you know, it's not like other playoffs to where the first goes against the dead last. How much yards do the Texans even have? Oh shoot, I forgot I'm supposed to use Mike Lennon. I am so sorry, guys. Hold on, can I see this one right now? Tomorrow's right. Left chart. Mike Glennon, can you carry us to one touchdown, please? I thought my game crashed there. <laughs> I thought the game was going to say screw off. But yeah, um. Let's try this all out. Let's see how it works. How many timeouts do we have now? We have two timeouts left. Okay. Honestly, there's Bill O'Brien right there. Yeah, it's all the 2017 coaches or 2016. Yeah, let's see how good Mike Lennon is. Let's see him throw the deep ball. And. Oh my! He actually threw a touchdown. Okay, Mike Lennon's in his starter. Mike Lennon's in his starter. And also, I realized that Mike Lennon is actually on the Giants. But just to keep the Jag moves up, I think Mike Lennon will stay on <laughs> the Jaguars. <laughs> just because he threw that touchdown. Oh, that was amazing. But you know, we're going to go for an onside kick. I'll let the Texans kneel it if they want to. We'll go for more points. Jags were destroyed this game. Texans won. Like I said, guys, go into the comment section. Who do you think is going to win week one? Jags or Texans? I think the Texans are going to take it home. And they're going to really in trouble once uh, regular season winning streak. Yeah, here we go. I think they're going to win it. Come on. Go in the old formation. Yep, there they go. They're in victory formation here. have it guys there it is the final blow oh wait a minute they're gonna go for it oh no they're just gonna let the clock yeah i was gonna say wait a minute yeah they always give up that like final like blow thing anyways we're gonna go look at the stats like uh y'all are gonna ask for and it was sean watson He's thrown for 282 yards. Yeah, look at that. Of course, if we look at the Jaguars. Actually, you know what? If we look at all of them. Interceptions 5-2. Yeah, and none of them threw for a touchdown. I think it was Trevor Lawrence that dived in for one. For like a rushing touchdown. Yeah, if we look at the scoreboard right here, we can obviously tell that the Texans came prepared. They knew what they were doing. And honestly, you know, it's just one of those average just losing games. Of course, the only team you, uh, the only time you'd see a team lose late in the season, though, like the final game of the season, would probably be just to, like, rest their starters or whatever. But, yeah, it was a good game. Pretty dumb, pretty fun. I lost, though, but I had a good time. Anyways, see you guys later.